this digitized future, how people are connected、um, with all the digital information. I think I really believe that will be the future. Can we can we use AI to, to enhance the way we think? And I think the answer to that is absolutely. Machinery has almost always、uh, started big, and as you progress over time, you can make it smaller and smaller and more compact. Tasks that are either difficult to do, or they're dirty, or they're dangerous. Or they're boring, and we can use robots to do that. That will be the time where we really see these take off、uh, and become entities that are in just about everybody's home. We are in this virtual environment for I, I'm not sure how long, right? And I, I think that is really exciting for entrepreneurs building in the market. Own your story, be proud of it, and then prioritize your skills based on on who you're talking to and what you're trying to achieve. That's kind of what technology really brings: is quick, innovative change, where it helps us with our daily lives, it helps us be more efficient, it helps us connect. The tech world is very competitive, and you know you could be hot one day and you could be not the next, and it's just the way athletics is as well. Physics is a field where people are constantly problem solving. How do you take things which are discovered in basic research labs and then commercialize them? We are helping the human body. To actually work out itself, we've added 30 years to the average life expectancy in the world in the last hundred years. The process of changing ageism in the world is the process of flourishing and blossoming, and starting to show there are role models out there of people whose best years are ahead of them. We opened Pandora's box when we invented the internet. You know, altruistically, we wanted to have this global communication and unite people globally to share information.、Uh, but there's bad actors out there, and of course, they want to somehow try and screw it up for everybody else. You know, cyberspace is the new battle space. It's no longer you know the nuclear triad and so forth.、Uh, Cyber is going to be the new battleground for all of us. We don't yet have the next generation of leaders who have the right language. Uh, to articulate like what our problems are and what our aspirations are, and how to get from one to the other. The real special sauce in quantum computing is that processing part, because we're still in the very beginning of something that will last ten, twenty, thirty years of development, which opens an opportunity for all young people to get engaged at the ground level. The possibilities are limitless. That's what the conference is all about. Think big, 2020.